So some of you guys have mentioned you 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 don't like all the talking. That's fine. Uh, you can jump around. I'm going to put little chapter markers in this. For those of you who like the information, the science behind stuff, or what's happening in the video, stick around because I got a lot to talk about today. So uh, being that COVID's here, I wanted to do a collaboration. So I reached out to my buddy Jeff over at Tal Flater Mouse. I said, hey man, I want to do a shotgun video. I want to do some specialty rounds. And uh, I was looking at those things that you were shooting from the ballistic machinist, the dumbbell rounds. It's like, I want to see those dudes flying in high speed and everything. Like, how do they stay true and, and everything? So I bought some of them. I reached out to the ballistic machinist too. I was like, hey man, like any tips on any of this other stuff? Um, He's like, yeah, take the choke out of your shotgun and everything and you'll be good. So I actually just picked up a 12 gauge, the 940 JM Pro or the Jerry Michelet 12 gauge. Yeah, that dude like manufactured by Mossberg. I, you know, I don't do firearms nearly the justice um, that some people do. And if you ever watch Jerry shoot, I'm going to put a link to some of his stuff in the description below and everything. The man is the myth, the legend. Like the dude can ride a bolt like nobody's business. Like it's it's just impressive to watch. So I I, I feel very inadequate shooting this 12 gauge because it's it's like me having a Ferrari and not knowing how to drive it and everything. I'm super excited to get it out to the range. Um, and then I'm super excited to try these rounds out. So shout out to all the new members of the Wolfpack. If you guys want to join the Wolfpack, don't forget you can, uh, you get the little avatars next to your name, depending on how long you've been a member. Uh, and we got some new uh, pack leaders and everything. So shout out to you guys and everything. And one more update on the YouTube issue that I've been running into and everything. A lot of you were like, well, you know, monetization isn't everything. Well, actually it is. So, you know, I could talk about this for days and everything, but just to show you a quick little analytics thing, YouTube sends me notifications when stuff is demonetized and I can prove based off of historical videos in my library from like five, six years ago that get consistent views. The second I get the email that they're demonetized, they drop. So monetization for uh, videos is a key component depending on things like levels of engagement and stuff like that. So if you want to help support other firearms channels and stuff like that, make sure you show up to them regularly. Check in on them when they're uploading. Go hit like on their videos. Leave a comment below. Say, hey man, I love the stuff that you're doing. I try to be proactive about people in the space too. You know, like I'll hit up Phil DeFranco, be like, yo man, love your stuff, blah, 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 blah. Or, you know, uh, getting Demoli Demolition Ranches videos or whoever, you know, just stay proactive about that stuff. Help support people who do types of content that may get demonetized and everything. And, you know, keep fighting the fight. So I've rambled on enough. I can't wait to see what these dudes are capable of. Again, make sure you check out the links in the description because I'm not going to do this stuff any justice. Like, you got to learn more about, like, the, the 940 JM Pro because this shotgun, like I say, is a Ferrari. You watch a guy like Jerry shoot it, it's insane. All right, I'm rambling on enough. Uh, make sure you guys clack that like button. Leave me a comment below what frame rate you think this shot is here uh, from the last video. And, uh, yeah, let's just get to the range. Let's have some fun and... Uh, Hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are in the world. I don't know why I said it with such a question. Bam!
Boom. Just sitting there chilling. Watermelon chilling. All right, so watermelons are cool. They're great. They're awesome. It's hot out. I know. I understand. My hands are getting sticky. I'm talking way too much. We got way too much cool stuff to shoot today. I got I got uh, ballistics gel to try out with this dumbbell round, and I got bulletproof glass. I mean, it's going to be a flat surface on a flat surface. I don't expect much to happen, but we're still going to do it. Hey, disregard that pile of junk in the background. You weren't supposed to see that. Try not to touch the lens. Ah, bam! Let's check this dude out. Can I get some cloud cover, please? Just a little bit. A little bit of cloud cover, please. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. Oh, wow. Okay, so the uh, it looks like the ballistics gel itself. This is actually a first that I've seen on, on ballistics gel. Uh, doesn't mean much. It's not like it's good or bad. It's just a first that I've seen. Um, normally, whenever... I shoot ballistics gel you have a nice kind of uh entry hole but it closes up um usually like a a, a projo is a little bit more i don't know pointed at the front but having this flat this flat projo i don't know what i was expecting if i was like to be quite honest i didn't know if it was going to get a pass through if it was going to stop inside of it or what um this was just one of those things where i was just really excited to bring to the range it's a whole reason why i brought out ballistics glass, um, ballistic gel, uh, and a watermelon. I just wanted to come out to the range, try these dudes out and see see what happens. So uh, it's it's really interesting. You know what's kind of cool about this is you know, the wound channel is such uh, a large diameter and it's not closed up. I don't have any with me right now, but which is kind of interesting. It's like you're probably taking string some deck cord through that and uh, and get a nice clean um ballistic gel detonation or something you should, hey clack the light button clack it if you want to see that maybe maybe that's something i could do like because I was, I was planning on trying to start melting down gel so i can reuse it and everything but this this is actually kind of nice it's a nice clean nice clean pass through on that and that could be fun. Also, if you want to see a, a blasting cap, I've uh, I've taken a blasting cap, put it in, in ballistic gel before, and uh, it does some pretty crazy stuff. All right, I know I'm talking about too many other videos, a hypothetical one that I've already done. Let's talk about the one that I'm actually doing right now. Uh, I mean, there's not a whole lot to say about this. Is you know, it's kind of interesting because there's the uh, the O-rings on the dumbbell itself, and one of the O-rings is stuck right there in the the ballistics gel that's kind of cool um yeah again i don't know i don't know what to say about it other than this was a really interesting uh in result and uh, i'm kind of curious to see what happens to the ballistics gel or <sighs> the ballistics panel bulletproof glass i can't talk what is my problem what is my problem i don't know I'm just uh, I'm ready. let's move on let's move on <laughs>
let's check her out. Now, you're probably asking yourself, Richard, why would you shoot in the top right hand corner like that? Well, I'll tell you, casual internet viewer, just perusing through the YouTubes, stumbling across a full mag video, seeing a weird round in it going, I, I got a little too elaborate on that. Uh, the reason why I, I shot in the top right hand corner is because uh, these bulletproof panels that I have actually came out of an APC. Um, for those of you guys who aren't familiar with uh, armored personnel carriers, uh, actually this might have uh, been part of uh, the MRAP um, teardown that I got. Because a, a lot of times I'll, I'll, I'll come across some guys who are demilling uh, certain types of military equipment. And so that's actually how... Um, Ron and the guys over at Battlefield Vegas came across uh, the Vulcan. They were demilling an F-16 fighter jet. Well, sometimes whenever they're taking and demilling uh, some of this equipment, because they can't just sell it outright to civilians, uh, they'll they'll take and render it inoperable. Um, they'll they'll cut it in half. They'll do whatever. But some some components actually uh, go up on the market. So Humvees and stuff like that you can buy at Surplus. Uh, well, these bulletproof glass panels actually came out of, it was either an APC or an MRAP. I actually have the MRAP panels uh, at my place. Maybe we'll do another video on that at some point. Um, so I'm not sure if this came specifically from that or not. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was an APC uh, because it's got the gun port on the side and that's what that hole is, right? So it's like, so you could take and you can breathe. <laughs> so like if uh, you want to stick your mouth up to that hole, you know, it's, uh, I, I, could, I, could go, I could go in a direction there, you know, but uh, COVID, right? Um, yeah, so uh, <laughs> it's a gun port. We'll leave it at that. Man, it's hot. <laughs> I don't know. I just like start, I just start rambling. I got young, young Malcolm over there <laughs> helping me out today. He's just like influencers in the wild, bruh. One of my favorite Instagram accounts, influencers in the wild. Hilarious. People talking to themselves on their phone. It's a, it's a, it's a interesting thing. Back to the panel. Jeez. Okay. Dude, this is actually, this is really epic because uh, I honestly I had no idea what to expect. The guys over um, at Ballistic Machinist and uh, Jeff at Tau Flater Mouse, you were trying to come up with some ideas of some things that I could do at higher frame rates. Uh, and these specialty shotgun rounds were really, really appealing to me. And I, to be quite frank, I didn't think that this dumbbell round would do really much to the, the ballistic glass. I figured it would crack it and everything. But this is a really, really cool kind of... I don't know, uh, result. This is a really cool result here because you have the round embedded into the, the panel itself. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a Dremel and I'm gonna try to take this guy out because I can see the O-ring. I can see the round just completely flattened in there and everything. So uh, yeah, I think, that's, uh, I think that's the next step. I think uh, we go to the garage and try to get this dude out. Try to, try to get this dude out. Try to get it out. <laughs> it's the internet, man. <laughs>